It's the city's biggest sporting event. And after a long hiatus, the Hong Kong Sevens is back. We really want to make a statement that we're still here. Um, Hong Kong is still a resilient, vibrant city. We're still open for business. This iconic leg in the Global Rugby Series is Hong Kong's first major sporting event since the pandemic began. It's seen by many as a symbol of the city's reopening after more than two years of isolation. Hotel quarantine has been eliminated, social distancing restrictions eased, and hoping to revive its status as a global business hub, Hong Kong this week hosted a high-profile financial summit, a first in almost three years. We've been closed for too long. We are beginning to open up, um, following the other parts of the world that have already opened up. And this is a tangible demonstration that uh, Hong Kong is back. Back, but not quite. A mask mandate remains in effect. Visitors are not allowed into restaurants or bars during their first three days in the city. And then there's the task of navigating Hong Kong amid simmering U.S.-China tensions. The West would now understand that Hong Kong is not only part of China, but it's closer to China than before. This geopolitical tension is going to cloud the future of Hong Kong's economic development. Hong Kong needs the return of international business. In the wake of punishing COVID-19 controls and Beijing's political crackdown, its economy is struggling. Talent has been leaving in droves, and competition is rising from regional rivals like Singapore. To bring in more business, Hong Kong's top leader, who was sanctioned by the U.S. government, recently unveiled a $3.8 billion trawl for top global talent. I want to focus on the visa requirements because I think that particular policy will bring talent from the mainland. It will be more mainland dominated. It won't be as global as it used to be. But it will be a different international financial center. For more than four decades, people from all over the world would come to Hong Kong for the sport and the spectacle. This year, the fans are back, but thanks to lingering COVID curbs, at a reduced capacity and with far fewer international guests. We're not quite back to full normality yet, but we're well on that path. Um, and I think we are hopefully an important milestone on that journey. The buzz is back, but it's hard to reclaim the title as Asia's world city when the stands are stacked with local fans. Christy Lou Stout, CNN, Hong Kong.